This surgical video demonstrates ICL implantation in a patient with hyperopia that was not fit for other refractive procedure. First of all, cartilage is filled with viscoelastic material in preparation for ICL loading. The ICL is then held gently from the side with the use of a special forceps. The lens is then loaded into the cartilage maintaining proper orientation and curvature for loading. The ICL grasper is then advanced through the anterior opening of the cartilage to hold probably and pull the ICL gently up until the tip of the cartilage. The cartilage is then inserted into the injector in the preparation for insertion into the patient's eye. The surgical view is then directed toward the patient's eye with the use of Mendes ring. The appropriate axis is marked given that this is a toric ICL. The surgery is started with the paracentesis using a super sharp blade. Here I'm only doing one side port, but in the case of an office surgeon, two side ports will make a future manipulation much easier. This followed by injecting lidocaine epinephrine to achieve appropriate pupil dilation. The anterior chamber is then filled with a viscoelastic material and it is important not to overfill the chamber with a viscoelastic for easier removal after ICL insertion and to avoid IOP spike postoperatively. The main corneal wound is then created temporarily with a diamond plate. The ICL is then injected into the anterior chamber gently with the bevel of the cartilage aiming downward. After that, a small amount of viscoelastic material is injected above the ICL to protect the corneal endothelium. Then, an ICL manipulator is used to push the ICL foot plate posteriorly behind the iris to be placed in cilili sulcus. Each foot plate is pushed individually in a similar manner. It is very important to avoid pressing anywhere near the central part of the ICL, as the optic is very fragile and touching it may cause scratches that may lead to visual disturbance postoperatively. Then the main cornea wound is hydrated with the BSS cannula. Then a Simco cannula is used for physical removal. It is very important to remove viscoelastic thoroughly to avoid IV spike postoperatively. Myocol is then injected to constrict the pupil. Given that this is a hyperopic ICL, that doesn't contain a central hole, we proceed with creating a surgical PI to avoid postoperatively pupillary block. The sideboard is enlarged a little bit with a super sharp blade and the surgical PI is done. Here we are creating the PI superiorly to be covered by the upper lid. Finally, all wounds are secured with stromal hydration and don't forget to check the IOP one hour before patient goes home. Thank you for watching.